today we are going to discuss about polygon so what is the polygon polygon means poly means many and gon means side so polygons means many sides okay so polygons means many sides so first of all we are we, when we are going to discuss about the polygon the first thing is their curve so what is the curve two types of mainly two types of curve is there that is closed curve and open curve so what is the closed curve and what is the open curve the closed curve means when the curves are beginning and ending point are same so when the beginning point and the ending point are same then these points are called closed curve okay see the figure circle so circle ending point and the beginning point are same so that means circle is a closed curve similarly for the open curve see that so one point here this is the beginning point and one point here this is the ending point but they are not in a same okay this is the beginning point and this is the ending point so that means this is the open so this is a open curve so when both the point beginning point and ending point are not same that means this is a open curve now we are going to discuss the sub part of the closed curve that is simple closed curve so what is a simple closed curve see that simple closed curve means a closed figure which doesn't intersect itself so simple closed curve means which figure doesn't intersect itself intersect means suppose i am drawing a figure this is a closed curve this is the beginning point and this is the ending point okay but this is intersecting with a point okay that means this is a not a simple closed curve so this is a not a simple closed curve when the intersecting point is there that is a not simple closed curve so that means circle is a simple closed curve okay now next one so when we are going to discuss the polygons polygon means we know that sides so that that means if we draw a figure that is triangle if we draw any figure that is square so all are belongs to the polygon that means how many sides are there four how many sides are there three that means these are the polygon okay poly means many okay so now these are the three side figure and these are the four side figure so now can i draw the five side figure yes we can so five sided five sided figure that is called pentagon six sided side six sided figure that is called hexagon eight sided figure that is called octagon nine sided figure that is called nonagon and ten sided this is decagon so mainly these are very important in our chapter so up to 10 3 to 10 so triangle to decagon so now what is the if we draw a pentagon suppose i am drawing a pentagon here so this is a pentagon a tent is example of pentagon so if we draw a pentagon then the adjacent sides if you see the adjacent sides if you name a b c d e so adjacent side means a b and b c b c and c d c d and d e d e and e a e a and a b so these are the pairs of the adjacent sides okay these are the pairs of the adjacent sides and the vertices are these are the vertices of the polygon so how many vertices are there five vertices are there a b c d and e so five vertices are there okay so now diagonal so what is the diagonal very important word this is a diagonal 
so diagonal means a line segment joining the non adjacent vertices this is called its diagonal if you draw see that ac ad BE and BD and also we can draw CE okay that means how many uh, diagonals are there so that is five diagonals are there in the pentagon so five diagonals are they are in the pentagon this like figure so if we draw, that means a line segment joining the non-adjacent vertices of a uh, polygon, it's called a diagonal. So now, if you count, if you have to found the number of triangles contained in a polygon. So number of triangles contained in a polygon. So, see that. So A, B, C, D, E is a pentagon. That means five sides are there. So that means if we can calculate the number of triangles inside this polygon and inside this pentagon, we can draw or calculate easily by the formula N minus 2. N minus 2 triangles triangles so that means how many triangles are there which figure this is pentagon that means 5 minus 2 that means 3 triangles can you draw it yes see that okay it's done this is number 1 triangle this is number 2 triangle this is number Three. So how many triangles are there? Three. Now tell me, in heptagon, how many triangles are there? Seven minus two. That means five. Okay. Now, next one. Now, what is the regular polygon? A regular polygon means the polygon having all sides equal and all angles are equal, then this is called regular polygon. That means equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle square are regular polygon. Okay, regular polygon. So that means all sides are equal and all angles are equal. These are some of the examples. Can anyone ask me, sir, pentagon having same side and same angles are there? Yes, yes, of course. Pentagon having same side and same angle will be there. Then it is called regular pentagon or regular hexagon okay note it down all of you next is convex polygon and concave polygon convex and concave very important this is convex polygon and concave polygon. So convex polygon means each angle of a polygon is less than 180. Less than 180. Okay. So when less than 180, so that means this is a Convex and when greater than 180, then this is concave. Okay, 
so that means concave example regular pentagon regular pentagon equilateral triangle all the figures containing less than 180 so that means this is a convex polygon but for this irregular shape see that for this type of irregular shape we are creating this angle is greater than 180 that means this is a concave polygon this is a polygon but this is a concave polygon because this angle is greater than 180 okay this angle is greater than 180 so that means this is a concave polygon next one next one interior and exterior angles of a polygon interior and exterior so what is the interior we know that interior means inside okay interior means inside and exterior means outside okay so that means interior and exterior so a b c d e and this point is f okay that means these angles are all interior angles these angles are all interior angles and here this angle is the exterior angles okay so this angle is the exterior angle and this angle is the interior angle that means within the figure that is interior exterior means outside of the figure now if we add these two value that means interior plus exterior of an angle this is called 180 so this value is always 180 in one word is called linear pair okay this is called linear pair so exterior angle exterior plus interior equals to 180 degree and in one word this is called linear pair linear pair in one word this is called linear pair okay now next topic is sum of interior angles of a polygon of n sides so we are calculating the value of triangle quadrilateral or uh, pentagon easily but the rules is the formula is 2n minus 4 right angles right angles so this is the main formula for calculating the value of 3 4 5 6 7 8 whatever side figures for example for four sided figure four side so that means n equals to 4 clear that means 2 into 4 minus 4 right angles means 90 degree so that means 8 minus 4 4 4 into 90 360 degree so that means the value of a quadrilateral is 360 degree is true or false true next number 2 9 side so 9 side you can know so 9 into 2 minus 4 into 90 degree so 9 into 2 18 18 minus 4 14 so 14 into 9 14 into 9 is 126 so 1260 is the value of 9 sided polygon okay so this is the way for calculating the value of the sum of the interior angles of a polygon okay
थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू टेक केयर